rotate the spring to its stop in either direction and then rotate it back exactly four turns. Now, once you've done that, you want to install the spring assembly on the steering column shaft. To help you there so you can line up the screws, you can peel back the rubber to make the screws more visible. Now, the last thing that you want to check here when you're doing this is to make sure that this white plastic guide is in the one o'clock position. Now this is to make sure that the wire to the airbag will line up with the hole in the middle of the steering wheel. Once you've gotten the wire fed through the hole in the steering wheel, you can install it on the steering column shaft. If for any reason an airbag unit must be disposed of, it must first be activated. An unactivated airbag unit could cause potential injury if activated unintentionally. Now to activate the airbag, it must be mounted in a steering wheel which is installed in the car. Now don't attempt to do this by mounting the airbag unit in any special fixtures or by laying it on the floor. Also, a special harness must be used to activate the airbag. This harness is 30 feet long. One end gets connected to the spiral spring. The other end is connected to a separate battery that is placed 30 feet away. The airbag can then be activated. The complete procedure can be found in the repair manual microfish. Now that covers all of the important points of the Cabriolet airbag system. Some important things to remember are the airbag control light will come on when the car is first started. The light will stay on for about five to eight seconds and should go out after the control unit has performed an electronic check of the system. If either indicator light stays on, there is a problem in the system and it must be tested with the VAG 1551. Make sure you disconnect the battery ground strap and wait 20 minutes before working on the system or removing the steering wheel. Never place the airbag unit with the vinyl cover facing down. Always store the airbag unit with this vinyl pad facing up. The front wheels must be in the straight ahead position before removing the steering wheel. If the spiral spring is removed, always make sure it is in its center position before reinstalling it. And also, check that the wires are routed correctly. The airbag system can only be tested using the VAG 1551. Testing must be done in the rapid data transfer mode. The airbag unit must be activated before it is disposed of or thrown away.